Thank you very much. Anytime, brother. Anytime. Thank you so much for to to everyone who has who's prayed for this moment and who has made it possible through you know giving me strength and resilience. And um, my only hope is to really put my heart and soul into this the same way that I did from day one and that I'll ultimately make you proud of um, you know, the person that I am and the person that I want to be and uh, this is for feelings. For feelings? Are you kidding me? Uh, there's no ultimate really made us pride. Yeah. Um, it feels- Welcome back to the Mr. Showtime Podcast. Now, this morning, I was watching Expresso show on SAPC3, right? And, hey, uh, I was glad to see and happy to see Katlejo Mabu back on, on, on the big screen as the presenter. He got out from, you know, cancel jail. <laughs> Not actual jail, but, you know, he's back from him being cancelled. After, you know, in 2020, his girlfriend um, posted uh, the arguments on social media about his, you know, alleged cheating scandal. And as such, Katrejo got, uh, you know, cancelled in the eye. In the court of public opinion, um, his promotions, his uh, sponsors, his brand deals, they all uh, withdrew from him. They, 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 you know, cut ties uh, with his, uh, 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 all, all sorts of, uh, they cut ties with him, basically, right? And he hasn't been on a big, big screen since. Now, to be truly honest, Objectively speaking, Katlejo should have not been cancelled in the first place. Because what happened has nothing to do with his job. That cheating scandal had nothing to do with what he does. But of course, you know, in today's society, you know, thanks to the smartphone, I mean, think about this. We would have, if it wasn't for smartphones, right? If it wasn't for social media, if it wasn't for men, uh, 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 men being simps, if it wasn't for the gynocentric society we now live in, right? If it wasn't for smartphones and social media, we would have never probably found out that Katrejo allegedly cheated on his baby mama in the first place. But oh no, because you know. It's funny how women today can complain and say, ah, men have uh, male privilege. Really? Really? Ladies, if you're watching, name me one right that men have that you don't. Just one. Not for two, I'm, not, I'm not asking for two, not three, not ten, just one. Name me one privilege that men have in today's society that you don't have. I mean, women today can get can garner sympathy, you know, on Facebook just by posting an allegation, whether it's true or not. And the whole of society will just rain down like a ton of bricks on the man. It's ridiculous. Now, of course, I'm not saying what I'm not defending cheating. Obviously not. But now, her baby mama, I, I think her name is Monique Miller, he's, you know, he, she made allegations of, of abuse, which there's no evidence brought uh, to, uh, uh, on, on social It's all alleged, by the way. But oh no, even without evidence, Katrejo, you're out, you're cancelled. I can only wonder what Katrejo had to do for a living, you know, uh, since, up until now. I don't think people should be fired from their jobs if they made an infringement. I mean, unless you committed some, you committed some heinous crime, like severe crime that, you know, some, some really 
hectic, severe stuff, then obviously. But a, 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 a cheating allegation is not even proven. Even if he did cheat, what does that have to do with uh, Expresso? Expresso? I mean, Monique herself could have just, you know, handled her business. If she was really upset about Kajako cheating, then why, you know, handle it off air or like keep it away from the public limelight. Handle your business by yourselves. But no, you had to put put your whole relationship out there for the whole, whole of South Africa to see. And of course, because you know, a lot of uh, organizations, they're ran by a bunch of weak, spineless, beta male simps. Oh, 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 how could he cheat on her? Uh, how do you know? How do you know, how do you know that for a fact? Oh, God, you're a bad person. You're cheating on your baby mama. How dare you? How dare you? You need to be punished. First of all, Dear brands and sponsors and, 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 and other uh, uh, um, uh, corporations that, that, that were sponsoring um, Katrejo. What do you have to do with uh, his, his personal life? What happens in his bedroom is his business, not yours. What do you have to do with it? Nothing. There was no one... Nobody was, nobody was killed. Nobody was harmed. Nobody was... You know, assaulted. It's just a cheating allegation. Again, even if it's true, what does that have to do with uh, his, his, his brand sponsorships? This whole cancel culture thing has gone too far. Way too far. Gatleko should have not been cancelled to begin with. Again, I had to make these disclaimers because of the Sims are watching, you know, the Captain Saver hose. Are you saying that, are you defending Katleho, uh cheating on his, 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 his girlfriend, his wife? Of course not. Dummy. I'm saying you should have never been cancelled in the first place because that's, it's, 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 it's personal stuff that's happening in his own personal life. Nothing to do with brands and, and, and sponsorships and corporations. Nothing. Oh, what? They're going to cancel him because he likes uh, uh, strawberry ice cream as opposed to vanilla ice cream? Chocolate sundae? What, what are we doing? This whole, you know, uh, cancel it, cancel culture, it's gone, it's gone too far. Now, I want you to flip the roles. Imagine if... Let's say, for example, <laughs> let's say, for example, it was Katejo's uh, baby mama who cheated on him instead. Would you, just ask yourself this, would he, she uh, gotten fired from wherever she works, if she works at all? Because we don't know what she does. <laughs> Neither do we care, <laughs> right? We don't know what she does, but would she have, would, would she have uh, been fired from her job? Probably not. Why? Because she's a woman. No, no. Well, uh, you know, at her job, even if they, if, if let's say uh, again, just flip the roles. Imagine if Kakeho was uh, posting um, on social media, recording their argument. Hey, hey, guys. Um, uh, uh, this is Kakeho here. My baby mama Monique cheated. She she said she was going to the grocery store, and it turns out she was getting pounded out. You know, uh, at, at, at the parking lot by some guy named. Uh, uh, James, <laughs> would she, and, you know, let's say for example she was caught dead in the act, and she's over there like, uh, no, no, why are you recording me? Why are you recording me? You should, you know, this, this, this is this is our private business. And then Katleho posted that argument on social media. Would she have been fired? We all know the answer to that. No, because at her job they would be like they would make all sorts of excuses. Oh, well, 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 after, well, we can't fire her because, uh, oh, oh, look, she's pregnant after all. She needs money to, you know, uh, uh, means to take care of the unborn children, you know, also, all sorts of cry sympathy campaigns. All sorts of sympathy for her, all sorts of excuses for her. But where's the same smoke for the man? Where's the same smoke for Katejo? Oh, no, Katejo's a man, so, oh, no, you, you, you we, 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 we need to fire him. We need to get him out of here. <laughs> right? This is the, this is where we're at. This is where you are in society. <laughs> it's easy for a man to get listen. I know someone. I'm not gonna mention names. Uh, someone very uh, some, someone um, you know, 
someone I, I know, he said he got fired from his his job because uh, he got caught, you know, fornicating at the storeroom of his place, at his workplace. Now they got caught, you know, uh, fornicating in the storeroom. Both of them got caught. Guess what happened? He got fired. The girl he was fornicating with, she just got a simple slap in the wrist, a simple warning. Not in the written one, just to like, oh, oh, um, just, just don't do it again. But the guy, he got fired immediately. No warning, just like out. I was like, he told me this over the phone. And I was like, wow. <laughs> there is no sympathy for men. Right? Society is busy simping, i.e. simp. Busy simping for men, but there is no sympathy for men. Too much sympathy for women, but there's no much, not enough sympathy for men. Now, now that I got that out of the way, there's another, there's another aspect of uh, while I was watching the show, as you saw at the, at the beginning of uh, the video, the way that this whole shebang went down. This is the state of masculinity today, ladies. Do you see how the whole Return Kakeho's back uh, uh, parade was 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 you know framed. How it happened? It was an emotional cry fest. A bunch of men were talking about oh, oh feelings. It was like a, this whole intervention with Kakeho sitting in the middle, crying his tears out. And Graham Richards, Zoe Brown, and that other Indian guy, uh, I, forgot his, uh, I forgot his name, uh, I can't remember all the names. But it was like this whole intervention of sympathy, it was a cry fest for Kakeko Mabu, as, as if now he was the one who got abused in their life. <laughs> you would swear, you know, you see that for the first time, right? You would swear that Kakeko was like assaulted. Or he was the one who got, you know, sexually molested. And he was like, oh, tell us how you feel, you know, this whole cr this whole emotional therapy, right? Oh, oh, uh, how do you feel? And the people below, you know, the, 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 the comments posted below, right? People are talking about, oh, it, this is men, by the way. This is not just women, it's men. They were saying things like, oh... Oh, uh, uh, so happy you're back, and, and, and this is so emotional, and I'm crying right now. This is uh, uh, emotions, emotions, crying, crying, feelings, feelings. Ladies and gentlemen, masculinity is in, it's an endangered species. Because this is how men are today. They're a bunch of soy boy prone, weak, spineless beta males. This is the same reason why, again, we live in an age of emotionalism. It's feelings over facts. It's feelings over objective reality. And this is how a lot of decisions are being made in the workplace. You know, important, vital, critical decisions. Oh, you know, in, in, in the courts, in the court systems, in the corporate environments. Uh, even with this whole thing uh, about Kakeho in the first place, it was all emotional. Ah, oh, you, you know, you know, you know, the sponsors and, and, and the promoters. Ah, oh, uh, 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 how how dare you cheat on her? You 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 misogynistic evil man! How dare you cheat on your woman? Bad man! We need to punish you. We need to punish you. We need to teach you a lesson. But if it was her, oh, well, no, no, well, well, oh, 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 look, she's pregnant. Oh, no, so, see, we can't fire her because, you know, she needs to take care of the child. Foolishness. Absolute foolishness. But this is where you are in society. When you talk about unemployment, <laughs> they talk about employment of men. It's men that are struggling to find employment. Not women. Men. Tell me... When was the last time you saw a female street hobo, a homeless woman, just running, walking around the streets, you know, 
sifting through uh, the, 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 the trash can, the rubbish bin. Who knows the last time you see that? I don't think I've ever seen that. Unless she was with another man who's also homeless himself. When was the last time you saw a halfway decent looking female struggling to find a job, struggling to find a house, struggling to find anything? Hardly ever see that because society always offers simp ethy for women. Women don't ever have to worry about, you know, finding resources because there will always be someone ready that always be someone be ready to scoop her up. If she's a homeless person, you know, someone who, someone with a car will drive by and say, hey, honey, you, you need a place to live? <laughs> Come stay with me. But you as a man, you're like, why don't you go get, why don't you go get a job? Yeah, instead of buying another ball of booze. What's wrong with you? Right? <laughs> Oh, but no, oh no, we're, we're, us men, we're, we're, we're enjoying the, 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 the benefits of male privilege. Show me where. Where, ladies, feminists, show me where does male privilege exist. I don't see it. I'm certainly not living it. For another example of, uh, you know, <laughs> I as a man, I have to work hard to gain a certain amount of subscribers. If I was an attractive woman, if I was an attractive female, People will subscribe off of my channel, not because of my the content, but because I'm attractive. You all know this. Don't argue with me. Stop it. Stop. Don't even try to argue. Don't even think about arguing me about that one. Women get more attention on social media. They have way more followers. Strictly off, off the basis of their female and they're attractive. But men, we have to work for our way up. I'm not complaining. It is what it is. That's nature. That's biology. That's nature. That's, it, 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 that's how it is. That's how it should be. But I'm just telling you how it, it is. So this whole thing of male privilege and you know, oh, we live in a misogynistic, chauvinistic uh, 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 patriarchy that is designed to systematically oppress the, 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 the uh, females and women in the world. Like, ladies, stop. <laughs> stop. Seriously, stop it. <laughs> you feminists need to zip it. You need to zip your mouths. Like, seriously. And you corporations, you court systems, you know, when it comes down to, you know, uh, a, a battling between uh, child custody, you need to stop simping as well. Course correction has gone way too far. This is, this is, you guys are over course correcting. But hey, I, I'm not trying to be too long winded. Um, this video is already 17 minutes. Wow. But anyway, if, you, if you've listened this far, hey, thanks for watching and uh, hey, hashtag cats is back and hey, please stay there, right? Katrejo, just pick your, pick your women carefully, right? Because you obviously picked a bad one. Your baby mama, Monique, shame on you. Shame on you for putting your business out there on social media where you could have easily handled it behind closed doors, and this would have never happened. But oh no, women are hell-bent on destroying men's uh, men's reputation and legacy. Katlejo, I'm so sorry that you picked the wrong one. You picked a bad apple. But uh, hey, for what it's worth, for now, welcome back to Express the Week. I did, I, I miss seeing you. But uh, one more thing, can you men please stop crying on live national TV? I saw your Instagram post where you're like, <sighs> So hard to do. <gasps> cry first to me. Like, like, can you gentlemen please stop crying on national TV? It's emasculating. This is why women are so dry down there because you know you men have become soft. You men have become women have become masculine. Women have become men, and men have become women. These soy boy weak men, beta males. I'm not insulting you, but seriously, man, you cry on Instagram, not cool. In fact, I I strongly suggest you delete that. You cried and then you posted it on your own Instagram. WTF. But anyway, thanks for watching and welcome back. Welcome back, Kat. And uh, yeah, cheers. Because you're going to keep pushing forward mm. and we're going to mm. keep doing what we love more than anything else in this world, which is making feel good in Yeah, because it's, it's all about feelings, right? Right? This is a state of masculinity today. Feelings. Emotionalism.
Amazing.